Good morning, Angel. Good to Morgan. Welcome back to uh, another video. Welcome back to a vlog, actually. Today, we're vlogging. How do you all feel about that? Happy, I hope. We can vlog. We can vlog because you know us guys, we're going to a crazy festival this weekend. Um, it's gonna be lit. So we're actually sat in Bristol Tempeweed's train station right now. We got the train from our house to Bristol. Um, and then we have two more trains to catch. Do you know the trains aren't actually that long? It's just like quite long wait times in between the trains. That's oh, what our schedule is, yeah. Like another 40 minute train to Exeter. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I guess it is, the, the train after that is three hours, which is quite long. <laughs> but it's like a 40 minute wait in between. I've been in quite a touch and go actually mood this morning because last Very minute, last minute we decided that I was going to wear my feelers instead of my Nike Air Maxes and I completely forgot that on the right shoe of these ones there's like a bit of a fabric that pokes out and it pokes into my skin and it like really hurts and gives me bristles and stuff. Um, it really yeah. What are you on about? What have you been sulky for, mate? You want to go there? Yeah, eat your sandwich, what I made you. In peace and quiet, let me vlog. You know, WH Smith came through with the water resistant glasses. Good job, they're water resistant because it also is raining horrifically, both to mine and Connor's dismay. Rather early in the morning. What's the time, Angel? 9.25. Um, we out here, you know, waiting for the train, public transport lovers. Wait, have I told them where we're going? We are going to Boardmasters. <laughs> That's what we're doing. You already know by the title and the thumbnail. Okay. See Swifty's outfit looking fire. It's velour tracksuit, everyone. Velour. What's velour mean? Like juicy couture. It's the fabric. It's felt. Felt? <laughs> Guys, Con is literally eating all of his good food already, right? No core! <laughs> we got some hairspray, loads of protein bars, some magic stars that I'll be tucking into. No you won't, they're mine, Con. They are literally mine and I will be so upset <laughs> if you tuck into them. I got Eddie this yesterday. Moose juice, oh my god, Boo. Can they I just taste, say everyone? They taste ridiculously good. They're just like so good. Boo, vlog me they taking a good. sip. They look good. Turn up. Wow. Yeah. Go on, hun. And this is why we've actually got this for That's a mixer. Fun. This is a... This is our mixer, hun. That literally tastes like I want a heart. I want a heart attack at 9 a.m. Like, oh, which is not. I can't believe it happens to literally. It's like 9 a.m. It's an energy drink, hun. It's like having a monster. What do you mean? Exactly. And who has monsters at 9 a.m.? Literally every single person in the world. It's an energy drink. Gives you energy. It's like having a coffee, but a monster. I'm hungry, and I don't know what to have. I have a chicken sandwich like I just have. No, oh, that's lunchtime, time Carl. I need a breakfast. Yeah, it yeah? did It did feel a bit weird having a yeah. chicken sandwich at 9 o'clock. Nice Very nice, thank you for that. Right, it's coming out your pick. Okay, I get you it as well. Mmm, toasties. Mmm, oh my god, Marmite and cheese. That's my favourite. Guys, is it really bad if I literally just want one of these? Like, MBF, not being funny. Oh my god, sorry. Sorry everyone, I need to get these because they are live. I literally haven't had them since I was about seven years old. My nan used to get them for us. Oh my god, wow, they are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get these. Made it on the train. It's like one of the rowdiest trains I've ever been on. It's like a massive I'm just gonna sit here with my cup of tea and my biscuits, dip them in, have fun. Do you know what I mean? Just got to Exeter St. David's. Is this our train? Nah, we wish, boo. Our train's been delayed, but we don't know how long by, it doesn't say. So we're just sitting around waiting. We've seen loads of, like, girls ready to go to Fort Masters. Oh my god, they all look sick. And I'm here thinking, like, second-guessing every single one of my outfits for the weekend. They all look so cool, boo. They look like denim shorts, wellies. I just wish I had that outfit, do you know what I mean? But my wellies were bright pink. I didn't end up bringing them. I kind of wish I went for, like, dark wellies now. Ugh, regrets. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I made me and Connor chicken and cheese sandwiches. As you all know, he's already eaten his. I'm gonna get on the three hour train to Nuki when it arrives. It's three hours from here. Yeah, but ah. it's a three hour train, Angel. Yeah, this is the long Jeez. This is the long one now. How's my angel? What are we gonna do for three hours? I'm all right. On the journey. I'm all right, I feel so like far. you're a bit hungry. Uh, I can sense it. 
it. I can eat. Don't yeah, wrong, yeah, I can sense it. Sorry, but how cute am I really making these sandwiches? Like, I am goals. Do you know what I mean, Con? Like, you're never gonna find another chick who makes you sandwiches like me. <laughs> so it's about me. We've arrived to our little glamping part of the festival. Gonna unpack and uh, move into the new home. Here we go. Oh, look at this in here. Oh, that's so cute. What else getting there? I'll bring it all in, don't worry. Oh, thank you, Angel Honeymoon. Oh, look at this in here. Time to chill out, boo. Jokes, we've got a festival out there. Comfiness of the beds, Con. Oh, oh, blood. Yeah, I'm having a good sleep on this, Con. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah I really am. I do what I did when we were travelling. No, don't do that. Oh. Oh, so yeah. It's that nice, Angel? Having a little relax. A bit. Having a little relax. Oh, I'm led down at night, my head's spinning. No, can't. Uh... Thank you very much. Drink time. So, guys, you've made it to the evening. I'm already got glittered up. Not that you can really see it very well. I used to like overload that tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? And um, we've met up with the rest of the gang. I'm gonna get everyone else to introduce themselves because there's you quite a few already people. know me. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Hi. I'm Hi. Introduce yourself, Hum. Hi, I'm Kat. Wow. Look at that, the sea's right there. Literally so nice, the ocean. And then the main tent is just behind this one here, right there. It's that blue one there. Oh yeah, oh there it is. I thought that was the sky. <laughs> I thought that was the sky so call. Here's the rest of the gang. Oh, we're taking pics. Oh, Becca. Becca. Just Becca. We're a man. Hi. Hi guys. Um, just an update. Got my dinner for the evening, mac and cheese. To say, I'm loving the Boardmasters Mario. Are you, boo? Loving it, Han. Walk, it's harder walking, talking, Han. I think it's a lot of fun here. I'm really hoping, really, I know it probably will, but I'm really hoping it won't rain tomorrow. I, I think it will, Han. One of the reasons I think it's such a great vibe is that look at this. Look at this. Sunshine. Cheers. Everyone's happy. We've got girls in shorts, looking cute, chubby. So, yeah, it's a great vibe. I'm going to eat my dinner. What have you got? I showed them mac and cheese. Here we are. It's a team. It's a team. It is so gorgeous. That is the most beautiful view I've ever seen at a festival. We're going to be raving here, looking at the sunset. Go on, hun. Go on. <laughs> Christ alive. We made it. We made it through the night. What? what? Not feeling or looking too great today, guys. Can you hear this weather? It's just so vulgar outside. We've literally been in our tent all morning. It's like 11 o'clock. Um, had a special delivery. Yeah, yeah, cabinet and mirror. That's my new little beauty spot. Um, we haven't actually heard from the rest of the group yet this morning. But... We're gonna be considerate of what everyone else is doing, but um, we are gonna go out and explore. I'm gonna get some food. Yeah, we are gonna get some food. Come along for the ride. We've got a little doormat. Oh, we've got a little doormat. That's cute. Ugh. Oh my. God. God, boo, this is literally like vulgar weather. So, I feel like the weather actually sounded worse in the tent. It's drizzling, guys. It's yeah. Not that bad. It's not like, oh my god, this is horrific, but. Make do. Yeah, like, it's really not bad. People are still up and about. It's still, like, comfortable to walk around, right? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm starving. I literally couldn't be hungry right now, boo. Um, Con actually just came up with a really good idea of going into Nuki for the day. Because when we were out and about last night we kind of walked around the entire festival didn't we yeah. and um i feel like unless it's really nice and sunny like it was yesterday there's not necessarily that much to do in the day we're just trying to figure out what we're doing at the moment oh my god look yeah sing it guys do you know how much have 
I showed you last night. I don't think I actually showed you around at all because I don't really know where we were. There's the main stage there. Uh, who's playing there later, babe? The Chemical Brothers. And years and years as the playing there later. So we have Annie Mac DJing tonight in that tent, Unleashed. Um, and then over here is just all of the kind of like little shops and restaurants and stuff. So this is the main part of the festival. Where we're camping, there's really not too much is there, it's just sort of like tents and stuff. Tents, a couple more food. There is a Domino's pizza. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I had one. Yeah, Con had one. Wait, did I show them? I, I didn't show them that, did I? Con had a Texas barbecue Domino's last night. I was very jealous. I'm 100% getting one tonight. Oh look, Boo Smoothie. Smoothie one. Protein ones. Ah, oh, you got to be about that protein life everywhere we go. Yeah. Hashtag bodybuilding. Uh oh, look what I've just spotted. Is that what you want? think so. Yeah, yeah, Nutella. Yeah, yeah, Nutella. Oh my god, sorry, but Oreo donuts, what? Wow. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh my goodness. Listen, if I was anybody apart from me right now, I'd be jealous of myself. Well, that went down like a treat. Connor Swift has a chicken kebab. Is it really yummy? Do you know what? It smells so That's good. Some. Some. All right. Yeah, please. Bit of mayo for you. Oh, yeah, a bit of garlic mayo. I was really hoping you were going to get garlic mayo on there. Oh my god. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, do you know what I mean? That is good. Looking out over this gorgeous view. This was an absolute scene last night, wasn't it? It was so amazing. With the sunset, it was like bright pink. Guys, wish you had been here. It was so nice. Come on, put the bastards. Good morning, angels. What a travesty. Um, it's now the next day. As you can see, we're kind of all up with our suitcases and ready to go. Yesterday, it was just like the most rainy day the UK has ever experienced. Okay, that's a bit dramatic. It literally didn't stop raining. Thankfully, it did stop for like an hour or so when we went to the main stage to watch Years and Years, which was so good. And then we just ended up getting some food and then we watched Annie Mac. Annie Mac was so good, right, boo? Annie Mac was a vibe. She was literally so, so cool. Um, and then we went back to the tent quite early. We were back at the tent by like 11. No, I'd yeah, say half 11. Yeah. And the weather's Bye -bye. supposed to be really bad again today. So we are getting like earlier trains home rather than going home this evening, which is when we we're supposed to be going home. Thank God it's not raining now. Though. I know, right, can you actually imagine? Look at how muddy the floor is. Grinding. Do you know what I mean, Be That Sunday morning grind. Getting through that mud. Everyone's all chilling out. Hi, Okay, guys, made it to Nuki. For our train, we have like an hour before our actual train. Um, so we've come to find some food. Obvious. We've come across Warren's Bakery, and apparently he's the oldest Cornish pasty maker in the world. So we're coming in to show him some support. Go on, Warren. It smells good. Although, Con wanted um, McDonald's breakfast, didn't you, dear? So we've actually decided to support the local community. Um, this is Ellie's first bite of the mature cheddar, mature cheddar and cheese. And onion. And onion, sorry. And we've got a ginger brown. Obviously. So common and animal. The oldest bakery in corner. Out of ten. No, no, no. Better than Greg's. Oh, the fact that you have to think about it is slightly worrying. Different. It's very cheesy. Do you know what I mean? We've got sauce everywhere. Yeah. There's definitely more onion. Do you know what I mean? Still good though. You a fan or no? Mm. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm it's glad. high quality. Yeah. But, like, we love bad quality from <laughs> Greg's, right? <laughs> we love our like, one pound cheese and onion pasta. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, oh, thank God. Welcome. Thank God. Listen, we get home, hair goes straight into a ponytail, pajamas come straight on, everything goes in the wash, and do you know what else? These come off. I am not the sort of girl that can just keep this on. Oh, that's the whole point. No. Boring morning. 
Honey, you call me boring more and once again. You see what happens, bro? Thank you, Lord. God is good. A very important part in the process of arriving home from a weekend away. You decide what takeaway you're going to get and Connor Swift thinks he's going to go for a Papa John's. What's the Great British BBQ? Cold beef, charcoal chicken, spicy beef, pork sausage and onions. Bit too much. Bit too much. Oh, bit too oh, much. There he is. For me there. There he is. Debate needs to be settled. What's better, Domino's or Papa John's? Comment below. Whenever we order pizza, which actually is not very often nowadays in our relationship, Con, what would you say about that? I went through a phase of literally like every pizza time. was all mm -hmm. we had. Like every time we had a cheat meal, it was always, always pizza. We haven't actually had pizza in a really long time. Now, whenever we do order pizza, Con gets Papa John's and I always get Domino's. I just love the chicken kickers, I just think. If I went anywhere else, I'd just get upset. And also the Domino's cookies are really nice. So I've got my Domino's pizza ready to go. And Connor's doing his Papa John's order right now. We were going to be getting an Indian. Um, because I'm always up for an Indian. I'd probably say Indian's one of my favourite takeaways. Con is just not really a curry kind of guy. Oh, what do you mean? Um, you just said you weren't feeling an Indian. You literally just said that. I'm getting an Indian. But I don't really want an Indian. Why not? So I can't to go and walk and get it. They can deliver it. Huh? They deliver it. Yes, they do. But if you go and collect it, it's like 10% off. So that's why we always oh. walk. We love the 10% off. Or well, Macca's, that was our other option tonight. Actually, or you did say fish and chips. I'm not really feeling fish and chips though, so I'll throw that one out of the equation for us. I'll take one for the team there. Angels, look, I'll show you my order currently. So we've got a meal deal. Medium pizza, potato wedges and garlic pizza sticks for 12.99 i'm done i'm ready when you are ready to order okay and then oh, as well as that giant cookie here for 350 are you joking me nah. are you actually joking look at that do you know what i mean oh, Con, i don't know the domino's one looks better to be honest have you got one yeah i've got it in basket what have you got one four what do you mean cookies i've got one portion of cookies, but there's four, but I'm going to eat them all. No, let me have one, please. No! What, Ellie, you're going to let your boyfriend of four years have one cookie while you have three? No, Connor, I'm sorry. This right, is no, why I get Domino's. Okay, don't let me, that's fine. Oh, my God. Let's find a way back. To deal with it. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, and you get some dips. Good remembering. And the other issue we have, Connor, why is it on Zombieland? Because we're obviously not going to be watching Zombieland. There's like Zombieland 2 coming out. Oh, fab. Can't bloody wait for to not watch that. What oh, garlic? Is not which is the hard garlic from Papa John's? Is it the special garlic or the garlic and herb? It was a special garlic. Oh look, the Belco experiment. Do you remember when we watched that? Yeah. Guys, if you haven't watched that, it, that actually is a really good film. Um, we're just looking through horrors at the moment because we're in a kind of horror mood. Oh come, that actually looks pretty good. Now, so you've actually tried to watch that before and it was rubbish. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Honest. Con, you do say that for a lot of movies that you just don't want to watch because you know I'm gullible and I believe you. Honest. We've actually tried to watch that one before. Oh yeah! Set up for the night. What, what are you saying? We have got our pizza. He's got Papa John's. I've got Domino's. We've got the duvet in here. We're getting all cosy and comfy. Boo, listen. What? Serious question. Is this the greatest time of our week? Dream? Yeah. This is literally like what makes us happy. It's like but makes I us also real need good. the angels to stick up for me here. Okay. Because... What's up? Papa John's is better than Domino's, hun. I mean, his was literally half the price of mine. Mine was like 25. I got cookies, chicken kickers, and then a pepperoni pizza. Blimey. I just, okay, first of all, you just can't beat those. Oh my God, how good do they look? Sorry, by the way, everyone, if you're watching this on a Monday and you've all started your diet again, because that'll be me tomorrow. This, mm. this garlic red though. Chicken kickers. That is really, is really, a game changer, really huh? yummy. Has that got cheese on it? Nah, I'm sorry, Con. That well screams to me love. Okay, and the movie we decided to watch is Laura Abiding Citizen because we don't think we've watched this before. Um, it looks really good. We and watched we like the thriller, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So um, we'll update you guys sort of you know in a couple of hours. Let you know how our night's going. Love ya. Hello, sweet angels. Okay, let's get this vlog wrapped up. Wrapped up. <laughs> okay. It needs to be finished. Um, okay, it's now Monday, which basically means this vlog has been going on for four days, which is basically, may as well be a weekly vlog, not even a weekend vlog. So, um, yeah. I'm just about to sit down and edit this for you guys to get up for you tomorrow with my yummy AF dinner, which is super low calorie. Okay, before I show you this, if you aren't an OG, you probably won't know. Um, when I diet, I like to follow a, like, a dieting 
thing, I don't really know the word, called If It Fits Your Macros, which basically means you have like a bunch of calories and certain macronutrients, which is, um, oh my god, shortly described as fats, carbs, and protein. So you have like a certain amount of numbers to hit per day. Technically, fill up your macros with whatever you want, and for me, I love comfort food. But I really like to um, find new recipes or new dinners because dinner is like kind of like the most important meal for me. Like if I don't have a healthy dinner, I'm not going to be healthy for the rest of the life. You know what I mean? Um, that's just me. That's just the way my mind works. So I like to find lower calorie dinners that fit in with my calories and my macronutrients. This is one of my favorites at the moment. And I thought you guys would really like to see because I've been getting a lot of requests about food recently. So, okay. It looks like kind of vomit but we're still gonna go with it so i've got a chicken breast and then inside the chicken breast like i've made incisions in the chicken breast before i put it in the oven um in a bowl i had mixed some of this stuff which is really really low calories it has like five calories in the entire thing okay maybe not five but it's super low calorie which is like philadelphia um and then i also put in some garlic granules as well as some red onions as well as some low fat cheese i mixed that all together in a bowl and then i put it in the incisions and kind of like the rest of it i just smothered it on top of the chicken breast and then i cooked it it's like a really yummy um um, I guess you could say it's like a, maybe a healthy chicken Kiev or something. Um, and I'm just having that with some chips and no veg. Because what are you going to do? Sue me. So that's my dinner. Uh, my plan for the evening is just to edit this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. First proper vlog uh, I've done in a really long time. And I hope it kind of like set up to the standards. When you don't vlog in ages, I feel like it's really hard to kind of get back on track with it. Like you just kind of forget. So um, so it's about me. But I love you guys so much. Uh, don't forget videos this week are coming on Thursday and Sunday because that's the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays. Hope you got the bell notification on so you don't get lost in the YouTube traffic. Do you know what I mean? Love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.